So a couple of months ago, I did a video for you guys showing you how to grow your type B channel on YouTube, not only to get more sales, but to gain more subscribers, get more watch time, get closer to that monetization in 2022. Now, since I uploaded that video, a couple of things have changed and I've learned a few more things and a couple more things which I said before worked don't work anymore so I just wanted to go through sort of like a little bit of an update of how my type B channel has been growing since I made that video and sort of putting out a few disclaimers there and putting to bed a few myths about growing a type B channel on YouTube and also as always being honest and completely transparent about how hard it is to actually grow a type B channel on YouTube if you're watching this video you probably want to grow your type B channel on YouTube, maybe even just want to grow a YouTube channel in general. Uh, but again, this is tailored more specifically to type beats if you want to make money selling type beats. Um, and again, like most of you, I can assume that you're on Beat Stars, but we leave the link in the description. And YouTube is one of the perfect ways to advertise beats, uh, which is why we do type beat channels. Now, I do pop beats, and pop is one of the hardest, I think, in my opinion to get sales with because there isn't as much of a market for selling type beats for pop music as there is for stuff like afro beats trap music hip-hop so again i'm going to show you my channel go through the analytics showed you what's work and showed you what hasn't as an up-to-date video so let's jump into my youtube channel so again if i'm not looking at the camera it's because i'm looking at the screen and this is the current state to date i've got 180 subscribers i believe i think when i did the last youtube video a month ago i think since then i've gained about 50 subscribers i want to say like the youtube channel has been growing every day i get new subscribers now to the channel which is good but 118 subscribers you might think that's a bit underwhelming some of you may have more some may have less now there's a couple of points i want to make about the type b channel when i dive into the analytics and uh, i think i've been seeing this a lot with a couple of other people especially luke de prez uh, or Luke Forprez, sorry, who uh, is another beat maker. If any of you watched the videos, you probably watched some of his videos before. He had a troubling time growing his type beat channel again from scratch because it is, all honesty, a lot harder to grow a type beat channel now on YouTube. Like it's harder than ever to rank higher. Like keyword search doesn't work as well as it's used to. And that's the thing that I figured out kind of the hard way on here, but we still haven't getting some growth. So I'm just going to quickly show you in the last 90 days. Again, everything has been getting better. What I've been doing has been seeing a positive upturn on the way my Type B channel is growing. I get around 400 views every 48 hours, which again, when I compare this to when I started this YouTube Type B channel back in February, that is about, I'm not even joking, about 10 to 100 times more than it was in the first month. When I first started, I was getting four views every two days and it was really depressing to watch and it's nice that we got into three digits with subscribers now we haven't got to 1000 subscribers we haven't got the 4000 watch time we have had 337 hours of watch time in the last 90 days since may the 12th again but it's no way near that 4000 but the way i look at it is it doesn't matter if this channel hasn't been monetized yet because we've got to remember why we set up a type B channel and that is to try and drive sales and one of the things that's happened i've noticed a lot since starting the type of channel is i have had uh free sales so far using the youtube type of channel and even have 180 subscribers the other day i had a bulk order someone uh comment contacted me in the comments and they asked if the beats available i sent the links to the website and ended up buying uh, for a discounted bulk deal four of my beats so it does work having a type of channel and i've again i've made money from probably more than I would have made a monetization over this amount of time selling beats. And like, it doesn't take a lot of effort to do a type B channel. Now, again, you're watching this video though, because you want to know sort of how you can grow. And again, like it's a really slow process. I have a target to get to 1000 subscribers um, from a year of having a channel up. So on 180 subscribers, there's a long way to go, but it's still got six months to get them other subscribers. And the one thing you'll notice from a YouTube channel is subscriptions get a lot more frequent as time goes on and you can see like it's been getting more progressive as well as the watch time the watch time is a lot more than it used to be and the views as well everything's going up everything's in the right direction so there's no reason to see why this wouldn't work out now for those of you who upload beats this is another thing that I found very interesting I said in the last video that you want to keep uploading, you want to be consistent, but I've actually stopped uploading as much because I did a little experiment a while ago and we'll have to go to here. So on the start of July, 
It, even though it doesn't spell in here, I uploaded a, I uploaded a beat every single day from the 1st of July to the 12th of July, thinking that this is going to skyrocket my views. And as you can see here, nothing changed at all. I didn't get any rise in views, and I was uploading every single day. So the one thing I've learned is it doesn't affect the performance of my YouTube channel uploading less. It gives you more time to do more quality beats, like focus more, again, on the quality of the beats. And it was really exhausting uploading every day. No one can upload every day, especially um, if, like myself, you have other freelance songwriting production work to do and just other commitments. It's, it's really hard to do every day. So, again, I've gone back to uploading free to... Four times a week if I can. At the moment, it's about two to three because it's a very busy time of the year, the summer, for music. But, again, we have been getting traction. And a lot of the traction for my channel has come from two beats. Most of my subscribers have come from these two. And that this is how a YouTube type beat channel grows. You have to keep uploading and hope that something sticks. Like, again, I've uploaded way over 100 type beats now. And so I've just been averaging, like, over a subscriber... I'd say a video and again this one's been doing most of the work it's been getting most of the views and that's just how it goes when you're doing a type of channel it's just one thing you just got to consider is that it's gonna be a marathon it's not a sprint and you know in the meantime you just got to think about what it is that you're doing a type of channel for I haven't started experimenting yet with YouTube shorts that would be a very good way to gain subscribers and we're going to experiment with that more in a different video but, again, the whole point of me making this video is I just wanted to show you the sort of reality of growing a Type B channel. If you're struggling to grow your Type B channel, it's like it's it's not down to maybe that you're doing anything wrong. It's more the fact that it just takes time. And just one last thing that I'll show you to prove that it takes time is if we have a look at my best performing beat. Again, this didn't even start doing anything to 20 days. And you can see the rate that it's growing it's slowly increasing over time and getting more and more. And let's have a look at another one of my beats as well. Because I had one beat which lied dormant for a while and then just completely out of nowhere just decided to go up. Maybe it was this beat. Again, around the same time, around the 20 days. You can see that there's a delay on these things. So if, so if you upload something and it doesn't pop off straight away, you've just got to be patient with it. And then look at this one. This one had really nothing happen to it and then boom. And it got views. And we get like five five subscribers now. For my channel, that's like it's a decent amount for one video. And I think there was let's have a look at this one. And here you go. See, like everything is progressive over time. So yeah, guys, so if you are growing a type B channel and you're struggling, you're not getting subscribers, it's not just down to you. Like you gotta think about the market that you're in. Uh, have a look at your analytics, see what beats do the best for you. I've start, started uploading more Taylor Swift beats, as you can see, because, again, one of my best performing beats has been Taylor Swift and other Charlie Poof, so I've been trying to focus more on them, and that has helped maintain, like, the views I've got now, and it's been working. I've been getting beat sales from it, uh, so it's definitely still worth having a YouTube-type beat channel. Maybe just don't focus on getting monetized, but more trying to see it as a way to advertise and promote your beats for free but yeah guys i hope you found this video helpful and leave a comment below um how if you have a youtube type of channel if you've got any more questions about what you can do to try and get a little bit more uh, traction with your type beat channel and again maybe if you have more subscribers than me maybe share below for everyone else who's watching this video to let them know any tricks that you know that can help any other people watching this video on how they can grow a type of channel but yeah guys keep making music and i'll see you in the next video